Hey guys, this is me, Kevin Murphy, again, on my channel called Narcissistic Abuse, Learning Who I Am Again. This video is going to be on the term love bombing. So love bombing is a technique that the narcissist use to try to hook you in. They will see something about you that is attractive, but the attraction is the fact that they see a sense of vulnerability in you. They see that original wound that I was talking about in the last video. Um, when we have been abused, uh, been abused by a narcissist or a toxic person in our life, we tend to, without realizing it, we tend to wear it on our face. It's it's all on our body language, it's all on our face, it's all in our demeanor, it's just all in us. So when we go to, let's say, a party or to some kind of event and we are just in there by ourselves, and <clears throat> we're just either recovering from narcissistic abuse, we've just been discarded or whatever has happened, we tend to go into that situ we tend to go into that party or into that situation looking really down our shoulders are up our head is down and we f we have this this somber look on our face like something is wrong and we may not even real we, we may not even realize it and we and we'll go into the situation not even knowing that that's that's what we're doing and that narcissist spots that. That narcissist sees that we are we are downtrodden, we are starved for love, we're wanting approval, we're wanting someone to pay attention to us. And when we don't work on ourselves, when we don't deal with that original wound, just like I said in the last video, then we become prey for a person who is a narcissist or a borderline or someone who is who is toxic. So love bombing is when that narcissist will see that pain in us and they'll just come and they'll just start telling us all the things that they think we want to hear. And love bombing is not just for romantic relationships or romantic situations. Love bombing can also happen with friendships and friend, friend situations and so on and so forth. So if you have a person that you're just meeting for the first time, just meeting, and they come up to you and say, hey, you are, you are like my best friend, and you are the best, and you're the bomb, and they start bombarding you with all of these compliments, and they start telling you that, they, they start sharing their deepest, darkest secrets with you, they start telling you all of, your, all of their business, and you know, that's their way of trying to get you to open up about yourself and they're going to continue to love bomb on you and until they finally have you hooked these narcissistic people they're predators they are people that they have no conscience and they don't they don't care about you so when you have a person that's coming to you that's constantly telling you that you know at first meeting and they know nothing about you that you are the best thing and you are <clears throat> you're pretty or you're handsome or you you're the nicest person I've ever met and they start in and at a and, and you're at a party and or a social gathering or something like that and they start just telling you all of telling you all of their their baggage and all of their emotional all their emotional crap that is a red flag that is a sign that you might be dealing with a possible narc and that is not normal normal friendship and normal relationship takes time takes time it takes time to consider someone a good friend of yours it takes months in years to develop that kind of bond and some of the best friends that I have today it took months it took years to develop that to develop that trust and to develop those bonds 
and the narcissists are quick you know the narcissists are very quick with with wanting to get you in I would also be careful with online dating because the narcissist will will try to charm you and try to to allure you and to and to again it's all about telling you what you want to hear and within several months or whatever and sometimes even several weeks they're an item and then they're married and then the abuse starts so it's very it's very imperative to really really work on yourself and to work on healing those wounds from your past because if you don't work on those wounds from your past you will continue to re-traumatize yourself and it's going to take even longer for you to to really experience peace and the joy and the happiness you so deserve so in order to experience that peace take your time there's so many people out there that are that that will love you for who you are but you have to start to love you for who you are because if you don't love your if you don't love yourself for who you are then how can you expect somebody else to love you for who you are if you don't love yourself or even know who you are so it's important to know who you are first and if a person comes up to you and starts spitting game at you or whether it's a a, or a a person that's trying to be your girlfriend or be your boyfriend or be your be your friend and they start trying to trying to spit game at you that that's that's just a little too much they're they're bombarding you with all of these all of these compliments and they're telling you that you're 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 a wonderful person and that you're this and that you're that and they don't even know you and they've only met they've only they've only been talking to you for five or ten minutes that is a red flag and that is a person that you don't walk away from you run away from so um look for more videos on um on this channel about narcissistic abuse I promise to start talking about my own um, journey regarding uh, narcissistic abuse and uh, narcissistic personality disorder. Um, it, it feels so liberating and as, as I said in my last video that it's not you, it is the narcissist. It's that, act, it's that original wound that caused you to to do and behave in the way that you in the way that you do with with people and accepting the love bombing and accepting the fact that you know not having boundaries and that's another thing having strong boundaries when it comes to learning and meeting new people having a certain rule for yourself there's nothing wrong with that you want to be able to let people earn their way into your life you don't want you don't want to just take the first person that either winks at you or says hi to you and then you become instant best friends there's no such thing as becoming instant best friends with people and i will talk about my in my, in my next video i will talk about how um the original narcissist in my life set me up to act out when it came to trying to get new friends and trying to get new people into my life and things like that some of the weirdest things I've done some of the some of the most um, terrible things that I did socially that I totally regret now um, that I can't take back but I but unlike the narcissist I take full responsibility and as survivors even though we have been abused, even though we have been mistreated, it is still our responsibility to get the help and to get the, the encouragement and to get the, um, to get the help that we need in order to, in order to become, to become the people that we are supposed, that we were called to be and, and who we're meant to be. Other than that, we'll be just like the narcissist because the narcissist have wounds too. The narcissistic person is also broken and they probably have gone through trauma of their own. 
and have gone through ab child abuse or abuse of their of their own. But they they did not do the healing and do the work in order to heal and to be um, the person that they're supposed to be. So that's why they're th and they chose to be become selfish, self-centered, and narcissistic. So um, once again, this is Kevin Murphy. Please uh, look out for more videos on this topic, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.